Hello and welcome to Infinity. When the Unshot Mask is used, there are three controls, but one of them can be problematic. Let's have a look. So if I go to Live Filters here and bring up the Unshot Mask, I've got three controls here. And this picture is particularly suitable for this, because if you zoom in here, let's just look at this window here. There's enough detail to see this. You can probably see around here, it's rather mottled. And that's because this area was dark, but I sort of brightened it up a bit, but the uh, this bit has not come out too well. So if we sharpen it, I'm just going to do this very crudely. Turn the radius up to 2, and the factor up to 3 very quickly. What you see is enormous crunchiness and everything comes in. It's a bit crude, but I'm over-exaggerating just to show you what happens. But we've got this kind of noise coming through. And the idea of the threshold is that you turn this up and it's going to reduce the noise effect because it reduces the point and which the sharpening starts to happen. And so you get more of the original picture coming through. So if I turn this up, and this happens very at a low amount, so I'm just going to do it over here with the percentage. And watch the pictures. I go at 1%, 2%, 3%, 4%, 5%. Six percent. Look what's happening here. You're getting this sort of strange crunchiness on the edge because it's basically switching between the sh the sharpened picture and the original picture, but breaking it off at a at a point. So you get these odd little pixely bits all over the place, and it's it's pretty horrible. This is one reason that the threshold tends not to be used. Well, this is the current release version, which is a one point seven. The um, beta version, which is 1.8, has had a bit of improvement done to it. So let's have a look at that. So those look at you, we've got 2, 3 and 6. Let's take the exactly the same thing. So here we've got the same picture in version 1.8, now in beta. And so this is the radius, we'll put up to 2, this one up to 3. So you get that real crunchiness thing, and let's try and put this up here. So as we bring up the threshold here, is this looking a bit better? So that's up to six. Let's switch back to the other one. That's up to six. You can see this is a little bit, we move this in there. So, so look at the harsh crunchiness in the whites and the blacks there. And here, I think this has done a decent job of making that a little bit better. If you want to really check, though, you turn the Unsharp Mask off and see what happens. We turn it off. There's the original. There's the improved one. It is a little bit better, isn't it? I think it is, but it's because these things are turned up quite you know, harshly, you are going to get a bit of a harsh effect here. What I do as well is another alternative where you've got this kind of problem is I'm just going to turn this off for a moment and just go in. I'm going to put a micro blur in which means I'm going to go to the live filters and go to Gaussian Blur. Now this appears above here. I'm going to drag it below so that it is done first. And you turn the radius up here a tiny amount. In fact, uh, if I hold on the control key and roll the mouse a bit, I'll get 0.1, literally. And it's just going to knock the edges off those but pixelation. Let's put the sharpness back on again. And I'm going to turn the, the sharpness Turn the threshold right down. And look at the difference now, just with a 0.1%. If I turn the Gaussian blur off, there's that really hard um, sharpening. With a micro blur, you've still got a sharpening effect, but not as much of that sort of nasty crunchiness. And if you think that's still a bit hard, I can turn this up to 0.2. That softens it a bit more. I've still got the the sharpening effect. So that's another thing that you can do about it. Well, it's still good that it's improved. So if I want to, if I'm worried about the noise around here, and I'll probably mask it as well, then I put in this that micro blur first. Anyway, there we go, and thank you very much for watching.